The third example uh, in time reversible markup chain is we consider actually a non time reversible. Um, first, we would like to consider um, this uh, example from uh, exercise uh, 4.34, which was originally in the homework, but uh, I decided to remove it because uh, uh, it has something like a more uh, about the material we haven't learned back then, and uh, it is uh, it is a flea move around the vertices of a triangle. And think about it, we have a uh, three vertices of the triangle. Let's say uh, uh, one, two, and three. And from vertices one, we have probability uh, p one to move to uh, vertices number two, and we have a uh, q one to move to uh, number three and from vertices number two we have uh, a p2 um, possibility to move to ver vertex number three and we have q2 to move to uh, vertex number one and lastly uh, from vertex number three we have p3 chance of uh, jump to uh, vertex number one and q3 chance uh, move to vertex number two and this is perfectly a um, stationary probability exist and we know that uh, this is apparently uh, also an ergodic markup chain and it is uh, irreducible because every state is recurrent. However, if we take a closer inspection, and uh, first let's write down the transition probability matrix. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, a three by three matrix, and uh, with the main diagonal being zero, because uh, when we um, are currently at a vertex, uh, which is a, which is this flea. Uh, we cannot stay at uh, this uh, same vertex at the uh, next time. We we must jump to another vertex. All right. Um, if we solve this, if we solve uh, for the stationary uh, distribution, which is uh pi equals pi times uh, p, and the sum of pi i is 1, we'll get the following solution, uh, which is pi equals 1 minus p2 q3 divided by number c, which I'll define in a moment. And the second one is 1 minus p3 q1 uh, divided by c, and the last one is 1 minus p1 q2 divided by c. And the difference um, is actually somewhat intuitive if uh, you take a closer inspection to look at the tra possible trajectory, but here I'll skip it. Um, the c is defined by um, 3 minus uh, p2 q3 subtract p3 q1 subtract uh, p1 q2 all right it's just the sum of the numerator um however if we want to check if this mark of chain is time reversible Um, we will encounter a problem. And let's write down the, the time reversible mark of chain. Uh, this equation must be satisfied. That is uh, the possibility of a uh, full stationary uh, mark of chain, the possibility of uh, jumping from uh, i to j the same as probability of uh, transition from uh, uh, j to i, all right? 
And now let's check just a simple um, This is uh that because apparently this is uh this is a uh, pi one, all right? And we know that p one two is p one, so this is a pi one times p one. And then let's check what is uh pi two times p two one. So this is a uh, the first one is the rate from the first vertex to the second vertex. And this one is uh, um, the second vertex back to the first vertex. And if we write on this, this is nothing but pi 2 times q2. And if we expand this uh, term in more detail, we'll see this is nothing but 1 over c times p1 subtract p1 p2 q3 and if we expand the second term uh, we'll have this is 1 over c times q2 subtract q2 p3 q1 and in generally they are not equal okay So unless we have a p1 equals q1, q2 equals p2, and p3 equals q3, in general these two are not equal. And uh, um, so uh, it's not time reversible. And this is actually one of the example of uh, uh, in textbook about. Uh, a connected for next example we'll consider uh, an arbitrary connected graph so for example uh, let me draw the sample uh, graph from the textbook we have totally uh, five nodes and one two five, four, and three. And they are, uh, between each node, uh, there is uh, an edge which has no uh, direction. For example, uh, node one and two is connected, and uh, uh, there is a weight associated with uh, an edge. For example, this is uh, W12 equals two. And we have, uh, this is W15 is a 2. And we have this is 1, this is 4, and this is 6. And this is undirected. So in the sense that uh, the weight Wij from node i to node j is equal to uh, wj. Then we simply we can define a Markov chain uh, by describing the jump between uh, these uh, five nodes. The state space is apparently uh, just our uh, node space. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5. And uh, um, our xn is just at uh, which node at uh, time n. And what happens is uh, we define the following uh, transition probability. That is, uh, the possibility of we jumping from one node to another node is proportional to the weight on that edge. For example, uh, let me first write down the formula. Uh, the formula is uh, P1 
pij is simply uh, ij edge strength divided by the total strength of edges coming out from i. Okay, so for example, uh, if we look at uh, if we look at uh, uh, this node right here, node number one, uh, it's connected with node number five, node number four, and node number two. And then what happens is uh, P12 is nothing but uh, Uh, I think I uh, copied on the number wrong. Uh, this should be uh, 3. So P12, apparently, P12 is nothing but 3 divided by 3. Uh, 3 plus 1 plus 2. Because we totally we have 3 edges coming out from node number 1. This is this has strength, uh, strength three. This has strength one, and this has strength two. Um, and then uh, P one four is uh, similarly. It's just a one divided by three plus one plus two. And P one five is two divided by three plus uh, one plus two. So we have a uh, uh, fifty percent of chance. Of uh, moving from uh, one node number one to node number two, if we're currently at node number one, and we have this is one sixth chance, and we have one third chance going from node number one to node number five. And now we are going to make the claim. The claim is quite simple. Um, this uh, markup chain. Given this transition probability, it's not a, like the flea problem where we assign like arbitrary two numbers. But this is a um, probability is a proportional to the edges strength, and we claim uh, this uh, uh, Markov chain is time reversible. Uh, to show that, so here I, I'll directly give you guys the uh, the stationary probability. So for a node i, we define x i as a following, which is this is uh, the strength, the sum of strength. This is a sum of the strength of the edges uh, coming out from node i. All right. And then the denominator is we simply we sum up all uh, the edges from all the nodes. Let's say, let, let me change a subscript. So uh, this should be uh, L, K, and with some on L. And this is a sum of uh, Of the edges coming out from uh, edges weights uh, coming from all nodes um, possible. And now let's uh, prove the claim. Uh, apparently, uh, we would like to check. First of all, this is a, a probability. If we sum up on x i, right, and uh, this is apparently this sum, and keep this 
this in mind, I and uh, this L right here uh, can be treated like a, a, a dummy indices, which means uh, this, the denominator and numerator are equal. So this is one. And moreover, let's uh, check uh, what is uh, x times uh, xi times pij. So now we copy down uh, the sum. xi has numerator of all the edge weights coming from node i divided by uh, the sum. And then multiply, if we look at uh, pij, if we scroll back, we'll find that the numerator here is actually the denominator here. And now here uh, uh, is where the cancellation goes on. So now it will cancel and what's left is wij divided by this sum. And now similarly, when we consider xj p sub ji, and this is uh, w uh, k coming out from j, and the numerator, I'm sorry, the denominator actually the same, it's the sum of uh, all the edge weights from all nodes, and then multiply with, but this time it changes from WJI, and we sum all the edges from, uh, from node J, and apparently um, this time and this time they cancels, and what happens is uh, we end it with WJI divided by the sum of all the edge weights. And now because uh, we have an undirected graph, uh, WIJ is the same as WJI, and so we have this is x. So these two uh, sum are equal, and this is the conclusion.